shucks. <laughs> the name was on the tip of my tongue just a minute ago. So let's get on with the haul from my fun day. I started that fun day with um, a rummage sale. Last year there was some really cool vintage Christmas that I missed out on because I was not there right when they opened and I just missed it by that much. This year I walked into the rummage sale and I went immediately over to where the jewelry was on the table and there was this whole thing of this amazing beautiful rhinestone jewelry. There was women in the front of the table and then there was the box of rhinestone jewelry and so I kind of meandered around the back of the table to look at the rhinestone jewelry and it occurred to me that it was possible that it could belong to the one lady closest to it. I wasn't sure um, but I asked her I said uh, this isn't yours is it and she's like oh yes and I'm like oh man <laughs> so I was a little bummed out about that. I really didn't find much at that sale. Um, I did uh, eventually score a little bit when I went over to the book table. Um, and I found these beautiful vintage books. Actually, they might even be antique books. Beautiful covers. Mildred's New Dud. They're all, I've got four books. They're all Mildred books. This one has a beautiful embossed inscription in it. I don't know if my camera is going to focus enough for you to be able to see that. But that's very cool. Um, when is the date? Let's see if I can find that. 1894 is the date on this one. This one was published in, oh, I don't, might not know when it's published because the front covers are, or the front pages are torn out. So the other two books I got, were solid green, which would look really nice in, you know, St. Patrick's Day decor like I've been doing. It's not Kelly green, but it's pretty green. And I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the pattern in the book? But it's embossed, debossed, whatever you want to call that. Oh, maybe right there. It's really pretty. Oh, that's good. I think that came out nice. All right, so I've got two of them with, with really cool patterns like that on the covers. And then these um, also have that um, imprint in them for the person's name. This one is also 19, or excuse me, 1894. Oh, no, 1884. And then this other one. And they're in good condition, by, by the way. The spines are in, in really, well, really nice condition. There's a little bit, but these are really old books. I've seen much, much worse. Um, but some beautiful illustrations in them as well. This one is 1886. So um, I thought that was a really good, a good score. Oh, oh, and the best part about that score is that uh, when I went up to the thing to check out, that's <laughs> why I love rummage sales, the lady charged me only four dollars, so a dollar each one of those 1800s, 19th century books. So after I went to the rummage sale, I came back and I went to the pancake breakfast, which I really love because it's always the nice start to our um, spring here. And um, so I hope you enjoyed the footage of that. But then I went to an estate sale that was nearby and I picked up some things and I am going to, um, I'm reaching, trying to arrange things while I'm talking. I'm going to um, stop the video here and zoom in a little bit so you can see some of the smaller things that I got um, and I'll talk about them because it just would be easier than trying to hold them up. Hang on a minute. So I was really happy that this was still there. This is one, one thing that I saw in the pictures that they had posted on the estate sale website and um, I got this for $2. I was very happy about that. Then down here, I will hold this guy up. I picked him up. Isn't he adorable, this little pixie guy? And I don't remember how much they charged me for him. What does he say? I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see, but I think you can see it. <laughs> but he's really cute. He's going to go right away into my St. Patrick's Day decorations. And then this little guy, he's like common. I've seen him around, and I don't think I've ever picked him up before. But he's one of those little candy holders, and I just thought he was really cute. So let me go ahead and uh, 
change the focus again and we'll talk more about the other things that I picked up at the sale. All right, so that was, those were fun things. I also picked up, um, I always do, these little, anytime I find these little um, tatted things or crocheted items that I could use in my artwork, I pick those up. So I got those. Uh, I also picked this up. This was quite a find. I was very happy about this. And it just occurred to me they got a price tag on them. I have to take it off. I hope I don't ruin it. But I got another vintage Valentine. <laughs> I said that Valentine. Um, isn't that cute? Very cute. So that's the cover. And then inside you open it up. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now there's a piece that goes on the bottom that has fallen off because it was very, it's just paper. But that's what it says on the bottom. It would go over there like that. And I paid $2 for that. So that was kind of, I enjoyed that. Then I picked up, um, I picked up a Greg Shorthand Dictionary. And I'm betting that at some point in time on this channel, I have talked about how my dad um, really loved the fact that he could do shorthand, Greg Shorthand. And that he still knew it. He could still read it. He could still write it. Um, this was, you know, of course, last year before he passed away. So he was really excited about that. Um, he used to tell stories about how he took that class in college and he never did his homework. <laughs> and the teacher told him one time, because he never did it, she, she said to him, I hope you fail the test. And he got 100% on the test. <laughs> So that's kind of why I think of Greg Shorthand. Greg Shorthand pages are also fun to use in artwork because um, they're very interesting. It looks interesting. Let me show you <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I like to use that in collage and stuff like that. But I'm probably not going to tear this up. I might keep that as a reference because I picked up a Greg Shorthand course someday if I ever have any time it might be kind of fun to go through and uh, see if I can learn shorthand myself kind of in honor of my dad um, is that it for that I think that's it for that sale except one thing I was all done I was getting ready to leave the sale <laughs> and I found let me take the tag off of it and I found this guy sitting on the table do you remember this I do I remember this plane from my childhood. I never had one, um, but I know friends that had them and we used to play play with them. So I found that. Um, I don't know whether I'll, I'm not keeping it. I don't know whether I'll sell it on or I'll see if my sister would like it for her grandchildren or what, but I just I had, to, had to buy it and turn around and go back and get it. <laughs> so I got those things. So I'm gonna pause, move those out of the way so I can show you the other stuff that I got. Hold on. All right, so a few cities over, there was an antique show, and I had seen the um, signs posted around for a while, so I had it on my calendar to make sure I didn't forget to go. They were doing uh, appraisals as well. On that Saturday, they were doing jewelry appraisals, and then on the Sunday, they were doing antique appraisals. Um, you got one free appraisal um, if you came during a certain time. I did not do that because I wound up going the day that they were doing the jewelry appraisals and I didn't have anything that I needed them to appraise. So, but I did go and it was fun. And I'll tell you what, you know, you have your channels that have thrifters, you have your channels that have um, yard sale and garage sale people. And then you have your channels that have a mix of that stuff. I'm kind of a mix of that stuff, but I really, <laughs> My thing is I like the old stuff and I have more luck and more, um, I find more things that I get excited about at either estate sales or at antique shows. So I was like a kid in a candy store at this antique show. So I will uh, show you what I got. When I first got there, the very first booth that I went to had these wonderful little, um, oh now, gold. Oh, shucks. And the name was on the tip of my tongue just a minute ago. Anyway, um, I picked these up. I will be passing them on. However, because um, they were really inexpensive, I thought. They're in very nice condition. The lids are in great condition. Um, but I'm going to be passing them on just the containers because 
I want the lids. Um, one of the refrigerator dishes I brought home from my parents' house uh, was missing a lid. And then I also, I think it was, am I right? I know, it, I know that at least one of my dishes was, it was in another hall, it was a red one, um, is missing a lid. So that's why I got them. But it was a good price. So I only paid $4 a piece for those. And I think I looked up comps and I believe that they're going anywhere from $8 to $12 a piece. So I thought that was pretty good. I really enjoyed the booth that this came from, this postcard. And um, I like the image on it. It's the image of a restaurant called Mills Restaurant in Cleveland. I have never heard of it, but what a grand restaurant, right? Look at this. But this could have some value in it because, again, I've mentioned it before. We watch the auction professor. Sometimes um, images like that and postcards of places that are no longer around have, have some value because, of course, people remember them and they can't experience them anymore. This next thing I picked up because, um, and he had a whole bunch of these there and he was trying to talk me into getting more, but I'm like, well, I have tons of these and you guys will know it when I show it to you. I have tons of them. I have pulled them on numerous occasions. I love them. They're great in artwork, in collage, but I have never seen one like this, never. I usually see the value trading stamps, the eagle stamps, you know, those sorts of things, but never these. And look at the actual, look at that, can, hopefully it's focusing for you. That stamp right there. How cool is that? I, yeah, I mean, that's just great. And the other ones are cool too, but they're not as detailed. It's harder to see what you're looking at. And I never know if my camera is deciding to focus or not. Um, but so I picked that up. I, it was a dollar. Oh, here's some more. Yeah, this book was only a dollar. So I, I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I picked that up. I don't collect these. But look at how cute that guy is. Look at him. This is a noisemaker thing. And I am bringing home noisemakers from the estate because um, of my children. I was so fortunate and blessed that my mother every year for New Year's Eve wanted my children. I don't know if one year we asked her if she would take them and it just became a thing. I don't know. Every year for New Year's Eve, my husband and I had built-in babysitters as long as my mom was well. <laughs> because my girls went over there and they would go out on the front porch at my parents' house and they would, you know, ring things, play, you know, um, ring bells, play with the noisemakers, etc. Get lost in my own thoughts sometimes. <laughs> um, I have a video or video or a picture of my oldest daughter standing on the porch on New Year's Day, you know, shortly after midnight, playing her violin, um, serenading the neighborhood. So that's kind of fun. There's some memories there. And so we have some, um, a couple vintage uh, noisemakers that my kids would have used as well as some new ones. So the other thing I picked up was at one of the booths, they had handkerchiefs. And the handkerchiefs were only 50 cents a piece. And I have tons of handkerchiefs. I think we've talked about this before. Um, but 50 cents a piece, I had to pick up a few of them that were just gorgeous. Like this one, look at the colors. This is really beautiful. Love that. And maybe you want me to unfold the other ones, I'll do that. See? And I'm trying to remember to hold things up to the camera longer. I picked up those handkerchiefs and I saved the best for last. I saved the best for last. You are going to agree with me. So this next item, there are two of them and you have to understand, I, I lost the little thing that held them open so I can't hold them up to you open. I'm making do. Um, they were on the table and they were together as a set. There's a girl and there's a boy. And I have never seen vintage Easter honeycombs like this before. Aren't they the greatest thing ever? 
I'm holding this pose because it might be my thumbnail. <laughs> I just, I, I thought about, because they were $10 a piece, and I'm very, I'm so frugal. I don't like to spend money on stuff, especially if it's stuff for me because I'm keeping them. Um, but after I walked away, I kept, like, looking back, like I was afraid somebody was going to go get them. And I tried to tell myself, well, if they're there when you're done, then it was meant to be and you can have them. But every booth that I would go into, I was looking back to see if they were still there. And I'm like, oh, that's stupid. You've got to go get them because you'll regret it if you don't get them. The last thing, if you guys remember a few videos ago where I talked about, well, it, the, the thumbnail on it is all about vintage Halloween. And... I talked about how I got there early, I got a number, I mean it was like an hour early, I got a number, I waited in line, I was one of the first people in the door, I was really excited, I got up to all the vintage Halloween, and they wanted so much money for these things that I went for that I was like, oh, there's no way. Well, guess what I found at the antique store? I don't know, maybe this will be my thumbnail. Um, yeah, I was so excited about this, but not just that I saw it. Of course, I was excited about the ones that I saw at um, the estate sale. There were a whole bunch of them, but they wanted $120 a piece for them, which is ridiculous because on eBay, you can buy them for $50 plus shipping. And I mean, $120, so even on half price day, they would be more than they're selling for on eBay. You know, I mean, of course, you take into consideration your shipping, but this one was only $35 and he was hiding. They had like a, a ball cap on top of him. He was hiding so nobody else saw him there. I was so excited. It was like he was meant for me. He was waiting for me. Um, but in him, not only was it this little guy, maybe if I can, does he, is he wearing my hair? You can't see. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm weird. Um, in him was this little um, battery holder. So you put a battery in here, and this little thing lights up, and you set him down in the pumpkin. Although he falls back, there's really, I don't know how anybody ever used that because he falls backwards. But that was the best part of the trip. So from there, I went on to my dad's house. And you will see the things that I picked up at the estate in the next video. But now, now I'm going to share with you some friend mail that I got. So I'm very excited about that. Several of these things are from the um, giveaway that I'm doing. Uh, one of them, though, I got this the other day. And thank you so much. <laughs> Tarnish Treasures, who did not have to do this, sent me a package of goodies because I had sent her something and I didn't send her something so that she would send me something back. So I, I totally appreciate this. This is wonderful, but she knows that I, there's a couple things I have commented on her in her videos. And so she knew that I would like these things. So she included them in this package. And this astonishes me. I, she talked about how she loved this image in her own video. And when I commented on it, she said, I could send that to you. And I'm like, you just said you loved it and <laughs> send it to me but she had this in her video it is a tally book a score book for bridge and that image on the cover is beautiful and then on the back there's that so thank you I'm tearing up that's because I get happy I'm not crying <laughs> I'm not sad I'm so happy watch my other videos and you'll you'll hear about my my eye watering but she sent me she sent me quite a few of these pages. This amazing text paper. Look at the handwriting in this. Isn't this lovely? These are so awesome for, um, for collage. See, I told you my eyes were watering. It always happens when I get excited. So yeah, very cool. What else did she send? I had cracked this open because at first <laughs> I didn't know who it was from. I'm like, who is this? You know, I don't think of her by her name, which was on the um, envelope. And I'm not saying it because I don't know if it's okay to say her name or not because I just don't know. So you'll have to let me know if you're watching. Um, but there was this cute little um, paper doll. 
thing in there. So that was cool. And then these are awesome. I, I st like I said, oh, I gotta plug my phone in a second. I'm gonna lose my, my battery's going down. Oh, that's cute. Look, can you see that? Little bunny, market man. Oh, here. This is on the back. The other side of that bunny thing it had a pony on it. The train. The animals go to sleep, but there's a whole bunch of this little um, children's song sheets. I love this. This is awesome. Oh, this is fun. I like this too. Webster's Notebook D Dictionary from Denison. This is awesome for collage. Nice vintage sheets. It always astonishes me because I know, you know, I'm of a certain age and I need reading glasses. And um, it astonishes me that even with my reading glasses, these things are so stinking small. And I just am shocked that, that, they, ha that they printed things that small back then. Oh, this is fun for collage. Very nice. Then she sent me, and I might have to do a little close-up video of the rest of these things here because they're so small. I want you to be able to see them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So hang on a second, and I'll show you a close-up. All right, so let me show you what she sent. I'm going to have to, I have very limited space here, so I'm going to have to do it and, and um, move it out of the way. Really cute little cards. I'm going to do them somewhat quick. So you guys will have to... You'll have to bear with me because I, I, you know, try to hold them still for a little bit, but I am going to go through them quick. Look at these. These are prescription pad things. How fun is that? And look at this. I love this. This is a little kid's hanky. She knows I love little kid's hankies. Thank you. I do. I love little kids' hankies. Okay, so there's that. Let me come over here to this pile. This really fun uh, big metal piece, tin piece. That's fun. Then there's all of, oh, let's show you this real quick. This is like a crepe paper in a brick motif. That's kind of fun. That'll be nice to use in my artwork. And then so she got, sent me a whole bunch of these little tags, little Santa tags, Santa picking his nose. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i am weird i've been doing this for a long time so you know that side of me is coming out um what else little stickers she sent me these little cute stickers and more tags i really like the vintage tags too um we've had going through my dad's house there's a whole bunch of them that we had at, at his house, but they don't have, uh, or they have um, adhesive on the back of them, so they're not quite as old as, as these are. These are fun. Little snowman guy. Look at this. More stickers. These are the gummed kind of stickers. The seals, if you will. That tag's kind of fun. It's an open up tag. See? These um, American Lung Association ones are really nice. I like those Santas. Very nice. They're pretty. And now I can just show you because we're down to the bottom layer. So this is these are really pretty. All of these. I like that a lot. That's fun. Little pharmacy bottle. I think that's what that is label so there's those and then we're going to come on down here and show you these these are adorable these are like little name cards i guess but look at how cute those are fun right and yes you guys are seeing <laughs> that this is the same tablecloth that i had on at christmas time and you know i just it is what it is little tally bookmarks tally card bookmarks they open up these will be fun to use in a junk journal. Just tuck in a little space. Very nice. And I really like the bird one. That's awesome. Very nice. So thank you, Tarnished Treasures. 
these are wonderful. These are truly treasures and uh, I am going to enjoy using those. So thanks again. Let me turn the camera around and I will show you the other stuff that I got. All right, so let's get on with the rest of the contest entries and the friend mail that I received. Um, today is such a beautiful day. It's like 60 some degrees outside, so I have my doors open. So I'm not quite sure what kind of noises you're going to hear. Um, and also, like the sun just went away, so I don't have my overhead light on. <laughs> so it'll be really interesting to see if I can read what's going to be in front of me because my eyes are adjusted to the bright sunlight that we've just had. So the first card that I got came the other day. Oh, I can't do that either. Anyway, I'll show you the back of it because the address is on the front. So this came the other day. Oh, <laughs> look at the kitty. That's cute. And this is from Betty. Bet, Betty, B-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Uh, Cindy, hope your St. Patrick's Day is perfect. Betty, I will enter you into the drawing. Thank you so much. Where are you from, Betty? Minnesota. Thank you. Um, this cute, tiny little one came from Maria in Sweden. <laughs> cute. Hi, Cindy. This card says, good luck and that I really wish you, and that I really wish you. Here's my address. Um, so you are obviously entered. Maria, thanks for sending this in. You just sent something the other day. So I got double stuff from Maria. That's wonderful. And this one is from North Carolina. A ready post package. This is a handmade one. This is fabulous. Oh my gosh. Sandra, this is amazing. Look at this. I don't know if it, it, it'll focus better out here, but I don't know. It's a very light um, drawing. So let's see if we can pull it in, if it'll focus a little bit better on that. Do you see that? Isn't that amazing? That's wonderful. Sandra, thank you so much. That is fabulous. I love that. Awesome. <laughs> and you are in the drawing. This one comes from Milan, Michigan. Came in a bubble wrap mailer. Oh, and this is another handmade card. Also oh, very nice. Very nice. This is from Bobby. This is Bobby's handmade card, and on the inside, it says, May your home always be too small to hold all your friends. That's fabulous. And then this says, Just a little something I found. Thought you might have an idea for it. And I'm going to take it out of the plastic wrap because there's probably going to be a glare. And sorry for the crinkling. I wasn't ahead of that. Oh, this is really nice. This is by, I'm so bad with art history. It's by somebody famous, I think. You all probably know it better than me. But it's just a um, nice print on a piece of paper. And absolutely, I'll find something fun to do with that. But yeah, I, that's very nice. Thank you for including that. So that was, um, that's all that I've received so far. And remember, I need by this time, by the time this airs, it's probably going to be after the deadline because they have a couple in the queue before this. Um, so I'm hoping that everybody gets their card to me by the 12th if they, if they had intended to do so. And I will film the video probably on the 13th. Didn't realize that was Friday the 13th. <laughs> and um, I'm hoping to have the giveaway posted on St. Patrick's Day the 17th. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the stuff that I found for you. I did find some really fun stuff um, that day. 
and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And as always, um, if you're not already subscribed and you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. And don't forget, friends, to hit the, the bell to notify you when I post new content. That helps the channel, helps me. Um, your likes help the channel, and, um, and I just adore your comments. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.